What's up everyone, it's your boy Brian Alexander here and I'm finally giving a follow up video to my very first video about axing in Canada 101. I know it's been a long time since posting that first video and I've actually been getting some comments and requests about getting a follow up video and letting you guys know exactly what it is you need to know when you're trying to pursue a career in the acting and film industry in Canada. I want to stress here that this is by no means, you know, <laughs> Uh, I don't consider myself to be an expert in the industry. I don't consider myself to be kind of a know-it-all. This is just through my experience and what I found. Uh, so I'm just going to share my journey with you guys and hopefully it's helpful to you pursuing a career in Canada. All right, so do I need to go to school? Do I want to get some sort of formal education? Is that going to help and advance my career in the TV industry? Wondering, oh geez, do I get an agent? How do I go about getting an agent? My response to that is I can only tell you my experience. Um, and I first and foremost want to tell you guys I did not go to school. I do not have a degree in theater. I don't have a degree in, in, in film or a certificate of any sort. Um, granted, those things are very useful. Um, so to everyone out there that did pursue uh, a, um, education or post-secondary education in the industry and in those areas, um, it does not hurt your chances at all. So with that being said, guys, you do not have to go and enroll yourself into a program, especially if you can't afford it. If you're out there, you're like, oh, I really want to be an actor. I want to pursue and try my chances in this industry. You do not have to go and incur a $40,000 debt to pursue your dream and your hopes in this industry. There are workshops, which I would highly recommend. Um, you know, there are different certificate programs, which are very beneficial because you always want to work on your craft. Um, but where do I start? That's what you're asking your question. I didn't go to school for this. Where do I start? How do I go about um, even getting my foot in the door, um, you know, to get on auditions, things like that. Um, so just to let you know my experience, again, um, did not go to school or university for any of this. Lived in Ottawa after graduating, tried to pursue it a little bit, but I knew I had to move to Toronto. I know, I knew for me to maximize my success in this industry, I would have to move to a city where there is work. Um, you have to find the work, you have to follow it and make yourself available and hustle. Uh, but I moved to Toronto and I searched Craigslist. Um, I did a couple background uh, gigs on films like Suicide Squad, Pixels, um, background for the TV show Suits. Um, there are a lot of background jobs that you can get, but I'm sure you've heard all the debates on whether it's a good idea to do it, uh, should I put that on my resume, does that count as experience? I would say do it. Absolutely do it. Doesn't necessarily need to go on your resume, it's not on my actor's resume, but it gives you the experience of being on set, seeing what principal roles actors are doing. Um, it helps develop an etiquette and kind of show you what to expect when you do land those principal TV roles. Um, so yeah, it was absolutely beneficial, plus it allowed me to speak with um, actors that are in the union, so I kind of got a feel for what it means to be in, uh, a union actor in Toronto. Um, other non-union actors, what it is they're doing, how to go about making steps for me to move forward. Um, that's how I found about different agencies in the city to find out, oh, what, what, what union are you with? So you're just kind of building a network, which is great. So that's why I went that route. But I made the conscious decision again. I want to lay off the background work. I want to get more principal roles. So, um, like everyone out there, I'm sure you Google open casting calls, uh, auditions in Toronto, um, casting calls, dance calls, singing calls, acting calls. I Googled every single possible thing out there, um, which proved to be fruitful in some respect, but I actually got a lot of my resources um, for auditions and open calls, things like that, on Facebook. As a non-union actor, Facebook is an amazing resource, even if you're unrepresented, even if you don't have an agent. You're gonna realize almost immediately some of the major casting companies in the city. Um, and I actually booked my very first audition 
in the city, which was for a Cheetos commercial. I can say that now because it's been about a year and a half. It, the commercial's aired and it's come down. It's no longer airing. Um, so it's okay for me to say that. Um, but yeah, I booked my first audition through Facebook. I emailed the casting company with my headshot. They did not ask for a resume. I didn't really have one. So that will bring me to my first point. Good headshots. An absolute must. Now, you don't have to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on your headshots. Um, my first set of headshots cost me 60 bucks, and I booked my commercial on it. But you want to make sure that they are updated. And it's, it is a good idea once you do have the money to do so, uh, to go with a known photographer in the city. Um, so yeah, my first set were like a Groupon, um, and they were okay, but they weren't great. But um, it was enough to get me an audition. Um, but great headshots, good headshots with a good photographer who knows what they're doing goes a long way. Um, your auditions will increase dramatically with good headshots. Plus, you want to make sure they look like you. Um, yeah, so I got an audition, had my audition, had a call back, booked the job. Um, was flown to Mexico for three days, paid pretty well, really great. Um, hotel accommodations, everything was covered, gave me spending money, um, beginner's luck, I don't know, um, but it was an amazing experience and it was enough for me to say, this is what I want to do, I can make it in this industry, I do have a shot, I do have a shot, and I can't tell you how fortunate I was not being in Toronto three months. I did not live in the city three months and I booked my first commercial for a pretty big brand, brand sorry, which was Cheetos. So if, if this is your passion, this is something that you wanna do, um, absolutely pursue it. You just gotta kind of, kind of find the right resources to go about doing it. Um, so good headshots and casting resources. Um, I will put in the description below a list of sites that I use still to this day. Um, so there are a couple of free databases. Um, I will put a couple paid databases as well, um, which has helped me and I've booked a couple jobs through them. Um, I'll just list them off here for you. So ebosscanada.com, Casting Call Pro, uh, Cast It. Um, I haven't booked anything through Cast It, um, but it's supposed to be a great resource as well. Um, Meta, M-E-T-A, Casting, which is a Facebook group. Um, so Metacasting Toronto, um, Casting Workbook, that's also a great resource, and Actors Access. Yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, it's kind of dragging on, uh, but I do want to say to you guys, follow your dreams. If this is something that you want to do, there is a chance for you, whether you have formal education or not, but you have to keep working on your craft. Um, so education does not hurt, but it's not a necessity. Um, starting off, moving forward and growing in the industry, absolutely, knowledge is power. Um, but again, this is kind of just throwing it out there to anyone that this is a passion for you and you want to know where to start, check out those databases, check out the work that's available to you, submit yourself um, to a lot of these jobs because uh, moving forward, I'm going to go through some videos whether it's necessary to have an agent, when should you decide to get an agent. Um, a lot of agencies will take you unrepresented if you have a good look to you. So again, headshots are very important even for that reason. But you're gonna to wanna to have some sort of a resume. Um, and finding work as an unrepresented actor proves your dedication to an agency. You book these things on your own without an agent. Um, you're bookable, um, plus you have the passion and the drive to follow through because agents won't sign you. Good agents won't sign you if they feel that you're flaky. Um, but yeah, there is an opportunity here for you in this industry. Check out those databases, get some good headshots. Um, in another video, I can kind of go over some of the photographers that I've used, if that's what you would like to know, but just please subscribe. I'm definitely going to be doing more videos um, more frequently. Um, sometimes if it pops in my head, it could be more than once a week, but I'm going to try and get videos once a week. All right. Um, so I hope this was helpful to you guys. Definitely subscribe. Leave some comments below if there's something in particular you want me to make a video on. Um, and yeah, awesome. So thank you so much. Uh, I'll be seeing you guys very, 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 very soon. 
um, just to kind of keep you guys updated on what's going on um, and how to help you achieve your goals and your dreams. All right, so peace out for now, guys.